Hello, welcome to Livy Toys. Okay, it is time to finish up the brand new Hot Lake City Grand Hotel. We got halfway through it before I had to stop and have a bit of a lie down cup of tea. But now we are back and ready to finish this baby up. So we got this part, bottom floor done, second floor, two very nicely equipped and outfitted rooms. And we are up to bag number six. And first up, need to address this gaping big hole in the middle of the Fleming River. Look, see, demonstrated how dangerous that is, gap filled. <laughs> and decorating the top of that uh, gap filler with some red carpet, which imitates the carpet, well, emulates, emulates, emulates the carpet down below, which is also red, which just basically signifies that it's super duper fancy. On either side here, we have a couple of planters, matching planters, but I have put them in the wrong spot. They're supposed to be one stud back so we can put these white pillars on with the little feather or the I don't know what you call it, like a kind of shield decoration on them. The the scroll work and the pointy bits on the top. The, the architecture on the windows, uh, the, the detailing is really, really spectacular in the hotel. They've outdone themselves, the designers here, and given us some pretty fancy windows. The, the thing that compensates for the fact that it's pastel and <laughs> purple and pink and and with massive wall panels to make up most of the walling but the windows are very very interesting very very interesting design builds now we've put some of those clear stickers on the doors here and the doors are yeah okay so there's this separating separating area between the two rooms and we actually have a balcony area that can be accessed in this version of the hotel if you remember the old hotel there's there were doors that open but they opened to a a no-go area very very unsafe okay so balcony's done what is here oh this is the sign so instead of having a grand hotel sign it's just been reduced down to hotel and i mentioned at the first the first video when i looked at these stickers that i think this is exactly the same font and hotel sign as previously but i'm gonna look at that when i compare the two hotel versions i think they are though it's really familiar and while i was ruminating on that we now have got a floor for the next level up which i just said is a floor but we're currently putting roofing on because it's the top floor it's the fancy floor it's the penthouse suite which is where amelia is booked in to stay so down below are the hoi polloi rooms up here for the fancy penthouse suite okay right but having said that we now have got some gold railings on up here so it looks like we have some outdoor areas so maybe everybody can access up here on the old one there was actually a pool and a bar area up on the roof and a dj area so maybe we're going to have something similar up here we have a table couple of chairs there's a little lamp on this side and on the other side a lamp and it looks like one of the like shampoo or fancy bath bottles that they normally have in the in like that's the Lego bath design so is this tell me this is not okay so we are building a is it a spa I'm trying to get these bubbles on correctly because if they're not at least straight one way <laughs> it's going to make me really 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 sad in the long run they look all right like that I think oh okay so is this a pool like a tiny pool I don't know let's go and install it up here my thoughts are this is actually a little bath I'm gonna put Amelia in here no I'm not because she we're gonna put Emma in here because Emma looks as though she's wearing the swimsuit anyway so <laughs> the fact that they're actually in the bath or in the pool in their full ball gowns I mean well that's how I like to bathe how about you right we're up to bag number seven and I have no idea what's going on up here so hopefully bag number seven will make it all incredibly clear it's not it's not making it clear what we're doing is adding some really nice form though to the mm, to the actual the yeah, architecture of the hotel there's a door leading out to the mm, i don't know what's going down so first up we need to build the bathroom stuff we have a sink same design as the previous ones but different colors and a fancy gold tap on the top so it's fancier i like the word fancy it's good i've lost the uh, gold piece with a jumper stud oh it's on here i didn't need it on there so okay so that's supposed to yeah just be like that and that's supposed to be on the top of the toilet and then we put the flush button on it no we don't we don't use that we do not actually need to open the tin to do that we need a normal one for yeah normal gray button for the top of the toilet <laughs> the other way'd be pretty funny uh this is the same as the rooms down below but it's got a different yeah different print on it there's a windmill which is i'm sure that's an easter egg for something and a lovely lily in a vase there on the wall and now for the bed it's a big bed because this is the big penthouse suite 
and it's also a different design to the ones downstairs, but it is similar enough, just twice the size. So twice the size, yeah. So this one also gets a different ornamentation on it, different sticker. Oh, that is pretty. Okay, so this is, I think that's, that's it for the bed. So we need to install this stuff. Here's the bathroom and here's the wall. There is no, there's no shower. Okay, bedroom's in. There's, I'm just waiting to see whether we're going to be putting, no, we're not. There's no shower. So that bath is definitely the penthouse bath outside. It's outside. So you just have to hope that no helicopters are going past. Uh, or maybe you just wear your full ball gown in, in the bath if, if you're feeling a bit modest or, or worried about people looking at you. Also got a dressing table up here with a mirror and a little seat and a brush. Oh, nice. And another door. And this one has got a security panel on it. So this explains why we have two keys, not three keys, because this penthouse one, you don't get a key for this, you get a code. So this is floor two, number one, only room on the floor, because this is the penthouse suite. How many times do I have to remind you? Is the penthouse suite. It's the penthouse suite. It's the top floor. <laughs> okay, gaping holes where the windows are, 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 are meant to be. So now we get to actually build the windows because they are, I'm going to use the word again, they're fancy windows. They're not just whack a window in. They are, let's build them up and make them an interesting design style windows. These curved pieces go over the top and on the bottom are a couple of tiles with the jumper studs on them so you can attach some ornamentation to them later. We have two of these and these go up and plug those very, very dangerous gaps up here. Look at that. Window design top notch in this particular build. And this is very, very nice as a skylight or a window light. I suppose it's not a skylight. What are we calling it a window light? It's a big round window in the middle, which is a really, really awesome design. Okay, bit of rounding over going on the top up here. Also flags. I'm dubious about this. Do buildings have flags on them anymore? Because <laughs> Lego Friends really likes their flags. There are two flags on the top. Also Disney Princess stuff likes their flags too. And a couple of flags down here just to wave in the wind and add motion to it all. Right, so four flags because two were not enough. And now just randomly we put together a can with this little like pull top thing that I tried to put on the toilet before and it goes into the recycling. This is how the hotel build was finished off in the instructions. <laughs> this is so random. So this is it. This is the hotel in its splendiferous glory. It is a little bit pastel for me, but the design is gorgeous. I can always change the colors out to whatever I want to be. However, we are not finished yet. Bag number eight gives us some more building, which is not the actual hotel, but our, yeah, extra bits. We'll have a look. We'll, we'll, we'll look at it as we go along. So at the moment we're building a tree and it's on a purple plate. Uh, there's a little white flower down the bottom at the moment. There's, there's, we've also got this, <laughs> this over here under the tree. I'm not certain what it is. At the moment it looks like a satellite dish, but I'm pretty sure it's not a satellite dish. Extended our floor plan here for what we're actually building and making a table, a picnic table out here under the tree with a couple of chairs on this side. Yeah, and another, mm, another couple of chairs. Oh, I've put these other ones, one, one stud over because the, the little white squares are supposed to help hold those plates together. That's nice. Okay, so four pink chairs. A table which is currently empty except for a plate over here we need another rudimentary kind of tree build they're not the most uh, structurally stable trees they're kind of two-dimensional because they're flat if you know what I mean like they're flat well, I, I don't know. And over here on the side, another little seat or tabley kind of thing. But now we're up to bag number nine. And this is where we turn it all into summer or spring. So these are the extra parts where we can set the whole place up for seasons. And at the moment, it looks like we're doing summer. We have got a deck chair. We've got a pair of sunglasses, which look, you know, I mean, everybody wears sunglasses with their ball gowns. It's, it's just perfect. Nobody is actually dressed for summer. As far as I can tell, and I'm trying to fit Emma on this, this interesting deck chair design. Maybe she holds on here. There we go. Look, that looks comfy. If she just holds on to that, she will always be safe on the little deck chair. Got a side table with some noms on it. Uh, cherries and, yeah, a little mint something or other. And 
foliage, green foliage with yellow flowers and a little white bird. Ah, and we also need some sandwiches. So we have got a wholemeal bread here with some yellow and green and a white uh, with green and red. Green and red on white. Delicious. So tasty. Oh, what do we have next? So we, we're we bulking up some bunches of flowers here with a double, a double, double stem. And they're all yellow. These are my favorite bunch of flowers ever. We need two of these. And I've just knocked some of the flowers off that I've pre-prepared. Okay, so we have got a few good things happening here, but we've got all of these pieces still to use. There are a couple of little lady beetles in here. Some, some white, uh, white, white swirls. We can put them in a cup. We've got, oh, what are these for? I don't know. We've got spoons. We've got this. I don't know. Oh, okay. All right. I'm looking at the pictures and I'm assuming we are going to take our satellite dish and turn it into a fountainy kind of thing. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Fountainy kind of thing. So we put this on here and then we put this blue bit on here. And according to the picture, we put this swirly bit on the top. Perfect. <laughs> That's what fountains look like. And then we can use as much of the foliage as we like. Put our ladybug down here. Sandwiches on the plate. Actually, no, we'll move that out. We'll put some cherries on the plate because for spring and summer, we get cherries as our food. There are a couple of more pairs of sunglasses. So three sunglasses all up. More noms over here on the side table. And then let's put, let's see how much. Oh, hold on. Oh no, hold on. I've got, we got red flowers as well. I'm wondering wondering how many can I put cherries up here I wonder how many of these I can use on the trees because I need to leave some of these flowers and these leaves to decorate the actual hotel so I don't know I'm just gonna make some more noms for over here another spoon have I overdone the tree decorating I don't know I like it though I like them to be really quipped out let's see what else let's put let's put that there that's pretty Oh, that's lovely. Right, okay. So these two big yellow bunches of flowers actually, finally, move out of the way, Amelia, these go into our pots on either side of the door. They were looking so barren before. Now we can use all of these other things to put some flowers on the windowsills or flowers on those little outward facing studs. We can decorate them however you want. Do what you want. This is up to you. You can be creative and make it look however you want it to look and oh, also these lattice pieces of these lattice pieces of fencing you can put the yeah you put the leaves in backwards in them and then stick the flowers into them i wonder if i can make these symmetrical i can i can if i just steal this bit yeah there we go Ooh, what else do i have left oh i can put some little yellow flowers on here i want to put yellow flowers everywhere <laughs> we can put some over here on the banister too I just keep knocking everybody over those. So River can stand in here. Maybe I could give Amelia a bunch of flowers because we've got an extra one of these little stalks. Let me see. These stalks are a bit sparse looking though. That's a bit, that, I mean, it's bigger than her head. Let's move that out of the way. I'll find something else to do with that later, but just go creative wild with these. This is so much fun, right? So this is the spring summer set. Let's have a look at the next bag, bag number 10, which is autumnal colored. Let's make it into autumn now and see what we actually have. We got pumpkins. We've got a chipmunk or a squirrel. Is this a chipmunk or a squirrel? I never know. How do I not even know that? <laughs> so we have got, I'm going, a go, I'm going with it being a chipmunk. No, it's a squirrel. I'm going with a squirrel. Uh, we've got some sauce bottles. Got a tomato sauce bottle and a mustard sauce bottle, which means we got a hot dogs. So food of choice here, an umbrella, because the weather can be quite inclement, variable, changeable. The weather's changeable in the fall, in, in, in the autumnal seasons. Okay, so we have got some brown stalks here with, uh, with some flowers amazingly growing on them because I'm pretty sure that every time I see brown stalks, it means the bits on the top of them are dead. And I've made this fantastic little pumpkin uh, sculpture over here. Look at that. That's going to be the middle of our Halloween table. No, it is not. I'm totally going to dissemble that. It's terrible. Right. So let's see. Over here, we have got the pieces to mix up our fountain so it's now <laughs> I don't know what fountaining lava <laughs> with a pink squizzle on the top it's a pumpkin spice fountain mm -mm, delicious let's remove all of these other pieces here but we do get to have the uh, apples apples are our fruit of choice for awesome got the sauces on here got some hot dogs on here and some cups different cups for each different season that's really cool okay and some foliage got orange foliage got our squirrel uh squirrel yes i decided that that was gonna be a squirrel 
Oh, maybe it's a chipmunk. Uh, we've got <laughs> we've got our, our climbing tree rodent up in the top of the tree and we've got our umbrella. We are ready to roll. But before we do more decorating, let's add some to the fountain. Got some autumnal leaves on the fountain. Changing out my lovely yellow flowers for these brown stick. No, let's put a pumpkin on this side. There we go. Pumpkin one side, brown stick bouquet on the other side. And on, on here we can put, let's put some orange and yellow foliage up here. Pumpkin up here on the table and some yellow and orange leaves. That's really pretty. Oh, I like that. Okay. All right. So awesome is, is sorted for now. But it's time to head into winter and we've got all these pieces to play with. So pink teapot, because that pink teapot's going to be making, oh, there's a grey bunny. This, oh, <laughs> this, oh my, I'm finding so many things. There are pretzels, so no fruit this time around. We've got a couple of pretzels, we've got cookies, we've got ice skates and hockey sticks. Oh my gosh, okay, Emma is now <laughs> ice skating in her ball gown with a hockey stick, ta-da! And, okay, so building, building that we have to do, we're building some snow drifts with some icicles. So we've got some blue icicles coming out of there. Let's pop them off the balcony railings. And another one, more of these slopes, but this time around, we have got white and blue yeah, blue icicles. So different. I like that. Okay, what else? What else we got to do? We can give the we can give Amelia some hot chocolate in a cup. Uh, it's definitely hot chocolate. It is not a swell of poo because that would be totally wrong and disgusting. Have a candle. I can make two candles here, I think. Do I have another candle flame? Yes, I do. And they can go. No, we're just going to put one on the table because I can't make them equidistant. So that's going to make me sad. Some white stalks and some snow flowers. Look at this. The fl <laughs> flowers are snowy with blue eyes ice on the top because I know that this is these are the sorts of flowers that grow in the snow so let's let's change out my lovely yellow flowers this time for some snow flowers mm. and what are we gonna put on the table cookies and some pretzels and over here the teapot with some another teacup and some more hot chocolate which is definitely hot chocolate another teacup with some more definitely hot chocolate swirl on the top and the, the fountain is now a chocolate fountain because of course this is what it is and it has got a white swirl on the top because all chocolate fountains white swirl on the top. I have no idea what's going on with the fountain. I think you have to suspend your disbelief for those. But we're putting some more icicles on with our white foliage because everything is covered in snow. I do like the fact that there are some transparent blue pieces for ooh, a cloud. Transparent blue slopes for some really nice ice effects. Now let's put this up here. And now let's find out what do we actually do with this? I mean, we've got so many pieces left. We'll put this other bit of foliage back up here. But what do we do with this? So we build this into, looks like it's going to be, it's a sled, into a little sled. And these, so the hockey sticks can be used as ice hockey sticks, but they can also be used as runners for our sled. That's nice. And this cloud is being utilized as a base for a snowman it's not centered on it but it doesn't have to be that's so cute i would have never thought to use the uh the the the, the cloud piece for that that's really cool and for the head forward facing stud with a carrot in it and a top hat these accessory packs are full of yeah really good accessories so what else have we got there are three more well three more skates so we can have two and a half people skating at once <laughs> and some snowballs some white snowballs oh that's amazing all right this is a really nice idea by lego being able to set the hotel up for seasons the little outside setting is a bit strange it doesn't really go with the hotel it could go with just about anything but it seems kind of weird with the hotel but it's nice it's a nice touch and i'm happy to have it okay so the brand new Grand Hotel is pretty spiffy and it is a very interesting build. Got a lot of good play elements as well as some really nice rooms for all of your Heart Lake City resident needs. So I am definitely going to compare this new hotel with the old one though. So <laughs> I think my sews have got out of control. So it's time for me to go. So make sure you leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the new hotel. <laughs> Subscribe and so check back in. <laughs> See ya. Bye.